At Purdue University, actually as early as 2006, scientists have been noting changes in the decay rates of numerous nuclear particles. For those of you who don't know, that we have actually quantified a very steady and re consistent and reliable data on what are known as the half-life of nuclear particle, right down to nanometers, which is a, a billionth of a meter and a billionth of a second scale. They've even got it down to the femto level, which is a quadrillionth of a second mm. scale and, and, of course, a, a quadrillionth of a meter scale. So they know that this is consistent uh, formula. You don't normally see changes in these decay rates. And what's amazing now is since 2006, scientists at Purdue University have been studying um, during different cycles of the, uh, the sun and the earth traveling around the sun once per year. They're seeing changes as great as a tenth of a percent in some of these radionuclide particles which is unheard of. There, in fact, there's no way to explain this as far as they can see, and it shouldn't be happening because this is one of the only known constants next to the speed of light constants that scientists are aware of. Everything else in the quantum scale and subatomic particles is changing all the time. In fact, particles are constantly changing into other particles all the time, so there is no such thing as a stable uh, uh, particle on the quantum scale looking at the atom and smaller. But here's where this story gets really interesting, William. When a nuclear particle's decay rate, it speeds up. It means it's radiating more, not mm -hmm. less energy. So all right. of the particles in our bodies and the Earth are, due to this new change of the sun, are radiating a little bit more energy, not less than they were before. And we know that studies done on human DNA that's very, very weak changes in electromagnetic fields can cause profound changes, for example, in fish, where the eggs of the fish in a laboratory were exposed to fields ten times weaker than Earth's magnetic field, and suddenly their offspring are born with what are known as phenotype changes, which means observable changes that are caused at the DNA level. And they're beautiful. The, the changes on the fish in this particular experiment were rainbow stripes suddenly appeared on all the new offspring. So the question is, what's going on in the sun? There's no doubt because children, and I just um, have a brand new little daughter who's six months old right now, and amazing things are happening with her. <laughs> um, they, they're, because their DNA is in a rapid growth phase, they are going to receive more of this change than we are. You know, I'm almost 50 years old, so I'm not going to get as much of it as, as she is because she's in a rapid growth phase. Scientists have clearly measured that consciousness clearly can pass through an amplitude of solid mountains and matter like they, they aren't even there. Um, I'm excited about this because I want to know if it's intelligent consciousness that is doing this. And... As the Purdue scientists are saying, there is a new particle possibly responsible for this um, being born out of the sun. So if there's a new particle being created, and that's what's responsible for this, these Purdue scientists are saying, it's going to change everything. It means there's a, you know, the creation is making a new particle. And that new particle will have new properties and new, and, and cause abilities and and humans and all living things that ingest it and eventually um, are affected by it. People are realizing that they have all the power. What's amazing, if, if it's consciousness that's changing the decay rate in the subatomic particles, which I say it is, because that's the only force that has been measured to pass right through solid walls. And it's the only force that could explain how uh, whatever is happening on the sun is going all the way through the Earth. Um, not being blocked like radio waves would be, and even the, the weak nuclear force would be blocked as well, then wh whatever this consciousness is, it has to be an enormous, great, great being that is emanating this field of, of intelligence. So what's happening is if the sun, this is kind of brilliant, is raising the decay rate of these nuclear particles, which includes everything in our body, then we're all slightly a little more energetic. We have, we're, we're emitting a little bit more energy than we used to.